spoke to him. I have something that may injure. We've been looking for this fish for a long time. You caught this? I've heard tell that this one's a real fighter. Not even Grandfather has caught one of these. I've never even seen this fish close up. Now this is a worthy catch. Only a true fisherman could catch this one. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Farewell, Eivor. This is Eivor. Simply men, life in the rough, in the company of friends, sitting beside a carefree river. I'm here for the meal. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skulls, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I fear nothing. What is your name, Lord? I am Hundwal, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. Maybe we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall. But there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. 
From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. From Terry upon Spirit Miller. Hey! Hey! Watch out, would you?
attack on sight here. There is Ruby. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
the same as what I'm missing. on the other side.
Cast about this land, my friend. You see, Hunwald's back, drinking and jabbering as always. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Thinks himself a real wonder, slouching with the common folk. Hans. Ah, leave him be. If a man wants to drink in the dirt, let him. Oh. Though we be a mercy in Shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Algar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvald's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Algar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, your father is ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan? Or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away. But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Algar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snow Dog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friend? A what? A blood eagle, a raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First I crush your ribs, then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus, fuck it, Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Algar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. <laughs> I told him all to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Trouble. They call this hasty wealth a lord. Look at him. Leave him be! Jesus! He brought a bloody Dane! I have been struck down, pruned within an inch of my life, but I will survive. I must. 
Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alka, we have won our first great victory! Hoonwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me! The son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me?